Hi there and welcome to today's products in focus. If we jump on to look at the US 30 to begin with, you can see over there Friday was incredibly volatile. Um, this is a massive graveyard doji formation that we've actually seen here on the Friday. And uh, it failed to close above potential resistance at 16,400 month. We are moving slightly in the right direction just now. I think this level is still going to be relatively uh, strategic in the short term. Uh, we need to get a close above here to rechallenge 16. 598. Um, it depends how much pressure we get throughout today's session as the US 30 has been slightly higher this morning and is feeling a little bit of pressure, it's feeling a little bit of pressure already. Uh, and if we do see a bit of um, a sell-off, that next potential support is at 6178. So the UK 100 uh, still feels like it, it too is under pressure. Um, uh, it failing to break above 6581. Candles already turning this morning, so we were we are currently positive only just um, but it looks like we might be turning negative in the short term so 65 19 short term support next potential support 64 63 then 63 90 uh, altogether there um, and that gives you a bit of a flavor about where the UK 100 is it's down about five or six percent from this uh, from this February high um, so it is still um, under pressure there Japan 225 uh, so dollar yen is, uh, is shooting up right now, though the dollar has been losing a little bit of uh, strength versus some other currencies I can see on my other screen. So looks to be 14219 as the support, and I can clearly see that in the last couple of sessions. That's the potential support, uh, and it's bounced off there multiple times previously. Um, the longer term target is 14977, uh, but 14219. Um, that's where the action is going to be if, if this also feels under pressure. But dollar yen shooting up, uh, so we're unwinding some yen trades. Uh, I can see gold is down as well. Um, considering risk is supposed to be back on a little bit, there's not really that much exciting stuff happening. So I'd be keeping an eye on this level here and then this level right here. So look, so looking at um, dollar yen, so dollar yen will be looking kind of similar actually a little bit different so it's looking for a breakout at some point soon once it gets above 102 spot uh, 90 it will then look to rechallenge potential resistance at 103 spot 77 and reversal at 102 spot 90 will open up again 101 spot 80 so that's going to be quite interesting economic data wise don't have a huge amount on um i'll be a chinese pmi disappointed again so that's um not so good chinese slowdown not impacting the Chinese industry so much because I believe they're talking about stimulus packages in uh, China now, uh, which is uh, it's not really helping the European and US markets that much today, but we'll see how things go. Mer uh, the, the Germany 30 as well is also down ever so slightly. So crude oil is hitting potential resistance at 100 spot 60. Um, it obviously broke up through that on Friday, closed bang on the level again. That makes me believe that that 100 spot 60 is, is, an, is an important level to look at. So. Uh, this is what you should be looking at today. 103 is the next potential resistance. Any rebound, if this fails to break, uh, will bring us back down to $99. So finishing up, having a look at Euro dollar, which is spiking up again this morning. Well, spiking up and then going back down again. I can see in my intraday daily charts here, it's shot up to 38.20 and it's gone back down to 38 again. Um, so kind of a, it's jumping between positive and negative territory right now. Uh, after this quite quite aggressive sell-off we had there on Wednesday and Thursday last week, we bounced off potential support at 37.72. Um, if we do go higher, uh, we may have potential resistance at 38.63. Um, but it's looking like we are under a little bit of pressure just now. So it looks more like the 37.72 will be the strategic level. Next potential support is at 37.09. And if we do finish up now with cable, uh, cable just spiked up again this morning. Ever so slightly, and bear in mind this is this is coming off uh, uh, kind of a, an ascending triangle breakout to the downside. Um, looks to be that we've already bounced off that potential support that we identified uh, at 65.19 uh, once and twice. Um, but we are we are trying to re get back up there again. This could be a retracement point for another move back down to 63.88, or if we break above that potential resistance, then we are looking at 67.44. So keep an eye on this. There isn't any dollar or uh, sterling um, economic data due out today. We've got some European PMI, which is moderate level impact. Um, if we fast forward on to Tuesday, lots more important data. We've got German IFO and UK CPI and retail, um, more retail data. Uh, quite a lot of uh, GBP data. And then you've got um, CCI on the US. So actually a lot more 
fundamental data due on Tuesday than the rest of the day. So we might have a little bit of drift. Um, and that kind of just gives you a little bit of an idea about the, the themes that we're seeing in the markets today. So keep an eye on the chart forum for updates from our global analyst team and other CMT Markets clients. And make sure you make insights part of your layout. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.